Is Halloween 2019 also kind of known as the official Hallow wasn't the backyard setup is different this year the backyard is impassable so we're doing a front yard setup which we haven't done in years which is I kind of like because it's very nostalgic one of these nights we started dating we would decorate the front of the porch really crazy we get some tents up we get the walls up so we get some sort of gate over here set up and get Ken look at the colors in the trees this is insane Get that on our side at least. Now we're gonna put up a really cool wall, and um, we've got a couple of days to put up a wall, so we're moving kind of at a casual pace. But um, we're gonna get some stuff done because it's gonna be raining in the next couple of days, so we're gonna try to get a lot of our waterproof stuff up now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of frightens me right here. <laughs> One of us is gonna get soaked. Uh, almost. thing is that was probably what was holding this in place. This is a hollow wet, but it ain't gonna get any drier, so it's sad. But it's gonna be awesome. Too bad we didn't know that this was gonna be a wet, rainy theme this year for Halloween. We could have built an ark or something. Or a pirate ship. Arr. All right, looking good. Beginning of the walls going up. But we are still appeasing the Halloween spirits. And there's a spider hanging off my phone right now. A cobweb, seriously? It's a Halloween spirit. Look at that. And just like that. It goes up. Okay, we have a rope structure. This is gonna hold the corn from behind. We'll be able to rope it up here. This one and this one. I don't think they're actually gonna get that high, but just for looks, maybe. <laughs> this is zip tied already, good. You wanna try, try getting those iron gates? Okay, today, right now, is Halloween. Hello, wet. Hello, what the hell? I am going on record right now, we are going to just make a small, concise, kick-ass display that just blows the neighbors away because clearly, the neighbors ain't done crap. And um, we can't run electricity back there because it's literally flooding right now. So I'm going to do some last minute kick-ass little changes on the thing. Uh, we'll be able to park cars where we normally would. This it's. It's just kind of falling apart, but I'm not gonna let it fall apart entirely. We're just gonna make it more concise in the front. This is gonna look good. Halloween is coming out really well. It's um, smaller, but the lights, you know, they can't, we can't see those yet, but you're gonna see them better at night. And it's gonna be awesome. Okay, it seems Mother Nature is taking a real war against Halloween this year. Not quite like the snow we had on Halloween winter. Or rain this time, but it's okay because we got backup. He's not really good backup, he's kind of a bonehead. <laughs> There's some crazy winds coming in. It's really, really creepily warm out here though. Um, I'm not gonna let this get me down. We're gonna do this, this is gonna be great. Okay, wind is kind of picking up. I'm back at the house to get one last look if there's anything I'm forgetting. Something was calling me back to the house that I knew I forgot. I know the candy's here, but I think that's it. Lisa will be coming home, Liz and my mom will all be meeting back at the house. Hopefully Ken will be out and back for at least three o'clock, I'm hoping, because it'll give us at least two and a half hours to set up stuff that won't take two and a half hours to set up, but the electricity will be more secure and I'll feel better and then we'll dress up, give you the candy, greet the trick-or-treaters, send them on their way, Happy figgity 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 Halloween. That's the plan. It's looking like that might happen. But I'm gonna go in the house and see if I forgot anything.
I just came home on Halloween. I think I'm gonna have to sweep the house. First things first. Let's go. See if there's any killers hiding in the house. Halloween thing. Weird. My phone just turned off. I was getting ready to talk about the ghosts. What are they haunting this? This is what happens when I get too much time on a day off. Okay, it's over there. It over there. This is what most people hand out at Halloween. This is what we hand out. It's worth it because it's Halloween and it's awesome. Okay, I decided I'm gonna take Jack with me. That's right, we're going to have trick-or-treaters. So, as we... We're going to make our way to the car now. And then... Well, I, I see you too, so anything else? So we can, can we make our way to the back to the trick-or-treats? We can set it up and finish Halloween. I, so, I got to... Yeah, what you said. So we're gonna make our way back to the car. Oh yeah, it's over here. I think um, uh, Mom and Elizabeth are gonna bring their candy. You're just obnoxious, aren't you? I just checked it. Nothing else is needs to come to Halloween from the creature shop. So this is the last time I'm locking up the creature shop before Halloween is over. And it's on to Halloween. I see, I swear to God, every time I turn this camera on, the wind dies down. It's really windy out here. It's uh, looking good in here. It's gonna look better when the lights are darker. Halloween is in a good place. Still, can we get here to see what the hell's going on? And it's final detailing in the last couple of hours. The wind is crazy right now. It's Halloween. It's doing it. Wow, I just saw this. Oh, that just fell. Yep. Oh, boy. Wasn't part of the show anyways, but it all fell. The whole wall. Oh, how bad is it? No, he's busted. Well, I gotta fix the pumpkin face again. Oh, he's just gotta be weak. Oh, he's not bad. Oh, this poor pumpkin. Yeah, this guy. Oh, how many times has he been busted? He didn't glue together so well, he stayed together. Mother Nature's really fighting us, but they're not gonna stop Halloween. How's it feeling? I'm doing okay. Okay, good. He's out. We got pumpkins, but we don't have any power to them. Our biggest issue is the wind. So I, I kind of made an executive decision to lose the arch. Plus side about the wind is it constantly activates the motion sensors. Things are going off. They're gonna go off all night. I think we should have something over here or some other kind of light. I got a green flood and a red flood here. So the porch is gonna be beautifully lit. That's where we're hanging in now. We get some more skeletons and stuff to like put in places, but I wanted to wait for your input a little bit too. And it's, it can be really loud, and louder than we legally should do. Okay, it's not a backyard walkthrough, but it's a hell of an awesome display. We got animation and lights. <laughs> Time to suit up. Well, we did it. This is Halloween on the Annieville Sci-Fi Horror Show. It's smaller, but Mother Nature didn't stop us. We did it, and uh, it really does look cool. I can't wait till it gets darker. This is gonna look awesome. <laughs> we have 45 more minutes to go. We went about 300 trick or treaters plus. So I can't wait down to get some candy. Still going on. Hopefully, I'll be back soon. Wow, are we an hour into it now? Yeah, uh, we have about 30 minutes left. <laughs> this has been an excellent. <laughs> Halloween so far. <laughs> what do we have about so far? What do you think, Lisa? Uh, over 500 people. Back to business. Here they come, trick or treaters. <laughs> well, 7:27. Three more minutes. That's all we have time for this episode of Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. I'm Lisa. I'm Ken. And this has been a, a Matt's mom. And, this is, and this Elizabeth's is, down there. Way out there. She's dishing out those of candy, big fistfuls. So, good night.